Exactly, exactly. That's the Africans I know. It's where we come from that shapes us. It's our social connections that shape who we become, right? And it's important that we have that awareness because without that, you've got no identity. With everything, there's a reason and a purpose. So I believe that us meeting here together, it's a divine appointment. There's an impartation or whatever that's going to happen. But I believe that this day, you must live with something. I'm Funga Indemera, just an ordinary girl from Zimbabwe. And I got to own a suitcase, just handling a, a suitcase with four clothes coming to the UK. When I got here, I was already a qualified nurse, trained in Zim. I just got married. And me and my husband, we thought, oh, we want to start a new life. God brought us in this land for a reason and for a purpose. And that, that reason is that we change our stories. Because where we are coming from, I don't know about you, we are the first generation where people can actually say, ah, this family, at least these people here. We are the first generation. Our kids, the challenge is massive because they cannot grasp how can I not have when I'm in England? How can I not have when mommy you are working and daddy you are working? How can I not have? Their reality is very different. And it's your job to make sure that you do your best. I know we cannot all be entrepreneurs. My message is do something with your life. If it means downgrading your lifestyle, downgrade. You're afraid that what are people going to say? Ah, if I lose my Range Rover. Hey, people, were you born with that Range Rover? Did you come to the UK with that Range Rover? It's okay to enjoy all things that life has to offer. But what have you got put aside for your children? If you haven't got children, for those you love, what are you doing? You must own your problems. You must own your challenges. You must accept them to say, this is who I am. But I'm making a choice never, ever, ever to settle for less. Zimbabwean, we are very good at working. While we are good at working, what are we doing for the next generation to change our stories? So we have a responsibility, my brothers and sisters. I said three keys on my flyer when my sister invited me. And one of those keys is what I've just unpacked. Word, you feel motivated and you take action. It doesn't mean that it's going to be successful. Let me promise you this. It may mean you are going to try so many times. Maybe five times. The Bible says, though a man falleth seven times, but he gets up again. We can be the people, I've just said it, to change the stories of our lives and of our generation. So the thinking needs to change, guys. It needs to happen. So for me, when I'm talking about falling and getting up and falling, I'm talking to you about the journey I'm also walking. I want my sister. Yeah.